Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss singular point of f of z or you can say singularity of a complex valued function f of z. Okay. So let us discuss its definition. Then we will discuss few examples on it. A point, a point, suppose we have a point z0 is said to be singular point, okay, singular point or singularity of f of z if f of z is not analytic at point z0, okay. So, if the given function f is not analytic at z0, then we say z0 is said to be singularity or singular point of f of z, okay. For example, let us discuss one simple example. Suppose f of z is z upon z minus 2, okay. So, we have to find its singular point. That means we have to find a point where the function is non, not analytic, okay. So, we have a very simple technique for that. We will find a point where the denominator is 0. Will you tell me at which point, okay, for what value of z, the denominator will be 0. If I put z is equal to 2, then 2 minus 2 will be 0. That means for z is equal to 2, the denominator is 0. So that's why 2 is a singular point of f of z. So therefore, z is equal to 2 is a singular point or you can say singularity of f of z. Okay, so this is our first example. Let us discuss second example. This is equal to z square plus 2z plus 3 upon z minus 1, z minus 2. Okay. So, this is a given function and we have to find a point where the function is not analytic. That means we have to find singular point. What do you think what will be the singular points for what value of z's denominator will be 0. See, if I put z is equal to 1, 1 minus 1, 0. That means for z is equal to 1, we are getting 0 at denominator. So, that's why it is a singular point. Let me mention, therefore, z is equal to 1 is a singular point. Similarly, if I put z is equal to 2, then also denominator is 0. So, 2 is also a singular point. And z is equal to 2 is also a singular point of f of z. That means the given function f of z has two singular points z is equal to 1 and z is equal to 2. Let us discuss one more example. Okay. The next example is f of z is equal to tan z. Okay. So, this is a function we have and we have to find its singular point. So, maybe you will think that tan z has no any denominator then how to find weight tan z can be expressed as in this way sin z upon cos z agree agree so sin z tan z can be expressed sin z upon cos z so now what is the denominator cos z so let us think about cos z for what values of z cos z will be zero let us find for z is equal to pi by 2 plus minus pi by 2 plus minus 3 pi by 2 plus minus 5 pi by 2 and so on getting cos z will be 0. So, for these values of z cos z will be 0 that means denominator will be 0. So, that is why all these are singular points of f of z. So, therefore, therefore z is equal to plus minus pi by 2 plus minus 3 pi by 2 and so on are singular points of f of z okay so in this way we uh, learn now what is a singular point in a simple language we can say if the denominator is zero getting if you have any function and for particular value of z if the denominator is zero then we say it is a singular point of f of z actually the definition is it is a point where the function is not analytic getting so several examples we have seen in next video, we are going to discuss various types of singular points and how to find them. Okay, Just make a screenshot of it, then we will go further. We will stop here. Thank you.